हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू टी कप टारो माय नेम इज रेया एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो को वी आर गोइंग बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट व्हाट मैसेजेस यू नीड टू रिसीव एट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट अबाउट द पर्सनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट इज गोइंग बी कमिंग इनटू योर लाइफ ऑल राइट एज ऑलवेज थ्री प्लाइल्स प्लीज मेक श्योर टू पिक वन दैट इज मोस्ट फॉर यू वंस यू डन वी स्टार्ट विद पाइल 1 Hello my beautiful pile ones and if this is a pile that you're really drawn to first of all i feel like your energy is very beautiful so this is the transformation you guys are going to go through in your life now first of all my beautiful pile ones you are sort of going to be people who take care of their dreams so the upcoming time you may spend a lot of time you know visualizing your future you may think of what dreams you want to have in your life and just move more in that direction but i feel like you're really focused on what you want from your life moving forward now uh you also going to be turning into people who take the time to listen to others that you really really love compassionately and this kindness is going to be extending to people that you care about but also to your family members you're sort of going to be the person who cares for others in your life also the thing that you you know if you have sort of gone through any kind of difficulties then this is an assuring message to you that you know the worst is behind you and positive new experiences are going to be in the horizon so i feel like you'll sort of become more optimistic and more keen to look towards the future and i feel like especially we've seen that in the first card now you're also going to be taking the time to relax you're going to be taking the time to be still you're going to be enjoying your solitude and also indulging in like the much needed self care so this could be in many ways this could be taking a luxurious bath this could be giving yourself what you need this could be just taking care of your necessities in the best way possible now in the upcoming time you're also going to be getting this feeling that this is the time that you're supposed to be in this is what you're supposed to be doing because you'll sort of start feeling like you are in the right time and at the right place at the same time now in the upcoming time there's also going to be a certain milestone that you hit so if you were working towards a specific goal or you were working towards a specific achievement this may be in your personal life this may be in the career i feel like you'll come into that now there also might be sort of a celebration on the horizon for you relating to your milestone achievement and in general now you also going to be the kind of people who are going to be much more trusting in your intuition so if you feel like okay this is what i need to do at this point of time then you'll probably trust your intuition because you feel like okay i can trust myself to sort of see myself in the future to where i want to be in terms of what you want in your life i'm going to read this out to you uh, it's time to stop seeking advice from others and go inside instead You know what's best for your body, mind, and spirit. Sit in meditation, walk in the woods, ask yourself what you need, and listen. Or uh, tune into your inner guidance when you get a gut reaction. Honor it. You have the answer, and it's safe for you to trust yourself. Everything you need is already inside you. So once again, you know you'll probably realize that uh, everything that you need is inside you. However. a change of course is coming so this basically means maybe you'll sort of walk through certain new doors for yourself or you know you have a choice with that i feel like that's what's coming up for you now a uh, once again going very very beautifully with the message of mindfulness i feel like in the upcoming time you know you're also going to be very very mindful you're going to be mindful of yourself you're going to be very mindful about your own presence and also you'll probably work with a quieter mind now 
interestingly you also have archangel michael showing up in your life at this point okay so he's basically telling you like look you are safe and i feel like you'll start feeling a lot more safer maybe because of this presence so if you're the kind of people who are very drawn to the energy of archangel michael i feel like you'll sort of you know invite him in to sort of help you in your journey in your life and also you'll find yourself sort of surrendering your concerns and allowing a miracle to occur in your life once again you sort of take the time to sort of connect to mother nature now this could be in a lot of ways possible so if you are the kind of people you connect with mother earth you may find yourself going out for morning walks if you have sort of forest close to your place you probably do that and if you have sort of an indoor garden then maybe you do that but i feel like you'll strengthen your connection with mother earth now in this point of time uh, this is like a message from the angels because i really wanted to incorporate uh, that in your story so this is like a message from them that give your cares and worries to us angels and it's so interesting that this is the pile that you've drawn to because simultaneously you have the energy of my archangel michael uh, playing out for you as well and once again it's about you know allow us to take your burden so if you're sort of going through any burden some situation of course remember the worst is behind you and you know you can sort of unburden your cares to the angels oh wow guardian angel it's so interesting you know especially if you have been the kind to just be solely associated with pile work then the guardian angel is very very close to you and you're not alone and it's so interesting once again your connection with archangel michael because that may be an angel you connect with personally or once again if you believe that there's a different guardian a sort of an angel for you then maybe you'll sort of you know connect with that energy a lot more but once again this is going to be a message for you that you're not alone in your life okay so i feel like in your life in terms of the personal journey that you're going through you sort of first of all changing your course about something then it's like you are sort of coming to a realization that this is what i believe in this is where i'm supposed to be and you'll sort of be more relaxed about it and also there's a milestone coming up for you in the upcoming time which are very very likely to celebrate yeah so overall this is what i have for you when it comes to the messages you're supposed to be receiving and the personal transmission coming in so as always as i wrap this up i'm going to leave you with my best wishes if you're drawn to pile two or pile three i'll see you there if not i'll see you in my next one bye hello my beautiful pile twos and if this is the pile that you've been drawn to so sort of let's take a look at what messages you need to receive along with any personal transformations coming in now first of all in your life you know you are sort of going to be taking a life review very very soon so basically what is a life review it's like an inventory of your life you know if you feel like certain things are not right or not in alignment for you then i feel like you'll sort of make changes around it and also heal anything that is unbalanced so for a couple of you you may be going through your goals you may be going through your plans and deciding what is the appropriate step to take next in your life also there's sort of a commitment coming around for you so this could be like you make a commitment to somebody that you really care about or this could just be you know getting into some kind of agreement or a contract with somebody but in the upcoming time that is going to be something that is coming in your life now you also need to know at this point that the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now on its way out okay a uh, god willing of course but also you know i feel like you'll start to feel a lot more better and coupled with the fact that you're taking a life review i feel like you'll give your life an interesting direction now there's also a blessed change coming for you in the upcoming time so major life change will come in that will give you the greatest kind of blessings in your life god willing of course 
when it comes to you guys you know your probably feelings about your mother will also start to heal and because your relationship with your mother your connection with your mother is starting to get better then i feel like you'll start to manifest anything in your life a lot more easily now of course this doesn't always have to be a mother but a mother figure will also be okay in your case in your life you also coming to sort of an edge about something so this like if you were sort of playing it safe for a very long time now you'll be like okay i just want to sort of take a risk in my life i want to do this i just want to uh, probably head in a new direction as what is coming to but that is happening now of course you're also going to be building a lot of new connections for yourself and i feel like these people are going to be people who you have something in common with okay so maybe you may attend a webinar and you meet these people you may attend an art class and you meet these people but these are people who are going to be supportive new people okay not the kind you already know and you also going to be offering your love to somebody and somebody is going to be offering their love to you once again it's a commitment there a new commitment of sorts now is there someone in your life who could benefit from your loving kindness the gesture doesn't have to be big send an email pick up the phone pop by for a visit or order a bouquet of posies let this person know you are thinking of him or her uh, when we offer our love and generously that caring energy comes back to us tenfold while always lifting us up in the process reach out and offer your love today so once again it's about you sort of giving your love and receiving that at the same time as well in the upcoming time you should sort of also take the time for beauty now beauty can be so many things for a couple of us it's all about mother nature but for others it's just having a life that is beautiful having a community that is beautiful having a personal life that is beautiful but beauty is going to be sort of a central theme for you in the upcoming time i'll read this today you are a curator of beauty you are blessed with moments that that you know beyond the shadow of doubt that all is well in the world and beauty sort of does that to you you know it sort of makes you take that moment and appreciate you know probably a sunrise probably a, you know snow if you live it and you've got it or just the water yeah and you're also going to be sort of going on a new learning path so this could be you take a course in your upcoming time or you sort of learn about something that you've always want to learn once again this is a new path and once again this could be you know approaching a teacher for it in the upcoming time now Uh, in the upcoming time i feel like you'll also become somebody who's more caring and compassionate and you sort of choose love or maybe choose to be love and do what is right for everyone involved and also offer a help yeah so i feel like you'll take a decision that may be uh, right for you or you feel like that is really compassionate yeah now you'll also take a time to be still yeah and once again if yoga calls to you then you know this is like shavasana you'll probably take the time to be still and just to sort of once again connect with the beauty in your life and uh, in the upcoming time you are also going to be people who are going to be much more trusting in the unknown so if you are right now you know chronic planners of course that panic is continuous in your life okay and now it's like okay i'm going to take a review and after that take certain steps and then you know trust in the unknown trust in the universe at large yeah but i feel like in this journey this blessed change this new learning path you sort of becoming much more trusting trusting of life along with the fact that you're building a uh, supportive connections and one thing that i really want you to know is you know if you've been going through certain periods of darkness in your life then they are indeed passing god willing i'll leave you here once again with nothing but my best wishes if you're joining me in the next one i'll see you there i'll see you next time hello Bye. and if you've selected pal 3 let's take a look at what messages to do you need to receive and what personal transformations are coming in your life now 
in the upcoming time you know you're sort of thinking about the concept of home like what home means to you for the people who sort of feel like home to you now of course for a couple of people you may be also taking care of a lot of arrangements in your house or probably you know going and constructing a new house for yourself but interiors home decoration the concept of home is going to be important to you now when it comes to you know you are also being told that you're natural counselor so maybe your counseling skills will get better and as a result of that you know many people will benefit from your guidance and reassurance so you are the kind of people who very loving you care for the people very deeply for so some of you you may also have the skill set required or you may take that in the upcoming time or you know you've just trained to do right but i feel like the job of counseling or counselor is so much for you whether it is a friend or professionally now in the upcoming time you also likely to get support from people who you trust now this is likely going to be people who are very very trusting you can have faith on them and okay they are also like minded people so people of similar mindset yeah that's coming through for you and okay now you'll also realize that it is time to move on from the old so this could be getting rid of old energy this could be getting rid of things that you do not need anymore or this could also be like you know you're just tired of the old and you just want a new way of being but whatever it is you know i feel like you are sort of wanting to welcome the energy of new in your life and hence deciding to move on Uh, in the upcoming time you're also going to be sort of working on self forgiveness so if you feel like you know you've done something wrong or you feel constantly guilty about something you'll probably by the grace of god be willing to get over that guilt and also come to a realization that in the end you are a perfect child of god so self forgiveness may be something that you're working towards and along with that you know a change in wind is going to be necessary now once again this could be like moving on to something else this could be just letting go of old energy and then hence welcoming the change in your life in the upcoming time you probably also going to be getting into creative endeavors now creative endeavors are so many and each is amazing than the other and i am personally somebody who absolutely enjoys creativity so if you're drawn to painting you'll do that if you're drawn to artistry you'll do that if it is music you'll do that photography whichever way it speaks to you but creative endeavors of all kinds is what you're going to be drawn to now in the upcoming time you're also going to be probably taking the time to slow down i'm going to read this when it feels like our world is spinning out of control it's easy to get overwhelmed this is a good time to begin a daily meditation practice your mind is the most open and receptive in the morning which is why it is helpful to start your day with centering exercises uh, cultivate stillness within and know that there is no rush at the end of our days we won't care about our to do list we wish we had loved more lived more and been at peace don't wait slow down now okay so i feel like whatever it is that you really want to do please make sure to take the time to slow down and i feel like you'll naturally be drawn towards it now you also likely in the upcoming time to take a risk with something so if a particular direction calls to you you're going to be risking it okay a protect a particular you know creative endeavor calls to you then probably you'll risk and take that as well i'll read this take a chance every risk is a success when you're committed to learning and growth so whatever risk i feel like you will take you'll be very very committed to it god willing and okay this also a sort of a journey coming up for you in the upcoming time okay so this could actually be travel so you may be going traveling or you may want to plan a vacation for yourself in the upcoming time and you know of course the holiday season is very close so that may be happening uh, for a couple of you there's also a possibility of a change of location especially with the very first card showing up is the home so probably moving elsewhere or relocating or just plain travel yeah is on the cards for you now you also going to be committing yourself to higher learning okay 
and i feel like you'll come to an understanding that you learn what you can from experience yeah and now it's like you know you'll finally understand that okay i just need to do some inner study of myself or i need to sort of take care of something uh, probably this is studies whether this is work related but you'll be like okay i now need to get into higher learning or just you know study inner study of whichever kind oh wow and you also have the plan of vacation card so this also possibility that in the upcoming time you sort of going to be planning a vacation okay this of course goes beautifully with the slow down energy so once again with the travel makes sense this could be international or just a local trip and also in the upcoming time you going to be realizing that okay you know i just need to set my sights higher so maybe in the previous times you may have had goals that were very mediocre for you and now you're going to be like okay i just need to set goals that are slightly higher so i feel like in the previous time you're sort of settling for something and now it's like you know okay i need to sort of set my sights for sort of something higher or do something that is so much better yeah but that's overall something that i'm getting of course higher learning may call to you so pursuing educative courses or just learning something through a book maybe that's something that you may be called to but overall these are the messages that you need to receive and some of the personal changes that are coming in uh, of course if you were drawn to other piles other than pile 1 and 2 i'd really like to know which one called you the most and with that i'll leave you with my best wishes i'll see you next time Bye